Today's passage contains one of the most recited verses from the Old Testament. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. This verse certainly offers an encouraging glimpse of God's grace and mercy, especially if we leave it there. But to get a full appreciation of God's message here, we must understand the full context. Jeremiah is writing and sending a letter to the Israelite elders who have been exiled from Jerusalem by the Babylonian king Nebuchadnezzar. The Israelites are struggling to cope with being displaced and exiled from their holy city. Jerusalem has been invaded and sieged by a foreign army. God's people have been driven from their homes, from their lives, their routines, even their normalcy. No doubt they're anxiously waiting to hear guidance and wisdom on what they should do next. Many of them probably struggled with their own faith, felt hopeless, anxious, and afraid for the uncertain future ahead. They are waiting for a message from God. Stop me when any of this starts to sound familiar. The Israelites were calling on God to restore them to their previous lives, waiting for God's justice. And what is God's message in response through his prophet Jeremiah to their requests? To settle into their new lives in Babylon, to put down roots, make families, multiply their numbers, and seek prosperity in the foreign land that they did not choose to move to. What a disheartening message and a confusing message this must have been for many of the Israelites to hear. God is not going to return us to Jerusalem yet, but instead says to get comfortable and build a life where we are. This doesn't make sense. This is not what they wanted. There are more than a little bit of faith required for God's omnipotent plan in this response. See, we've all been in the scenario to some degree at some point in our own lives. How many times has God thrown a curveball at us? How many times have our circumstances brought us to the edge of our own faith, where we don't know what our next move should be? Or maybe we lose everything we take for granted and are left with uncertainty, left with anxiety and fear. Maybe you, watching this, are in a season of your life where you're left with little assurances of what tomorrow brings, and you don't know what to do next. Maybe the answer that you get from God seems scary or disheartening to accept. Maybe God is calling you to a holding pattern where you are, even somewhere you didn't plan to end up, and you do not want to stay. What is your Babylonian exile? What is God allowing you to endure or to experience in your own life? Whatever it is, I can assure you of this. God knows the plans he has for you plans to prosper you, to give you a hope and a future. See, the follow-up verse, which is verse 12, reads like this. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me. I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with your whole heart. This is the challenge in your uncertain circumstances. Seek God. Call on him. Pray for his guidance. He will deliver you, for he knows the plans he has for you.